Good evening, it is January 24th, 2024, 9.47 p.m., episode 2,346, and pluck another Trump-free curtain. Um, one thing, I, uh, I I thought about this, I mean, this came down Monday, and I don't have my thoughts together, I'm sorry. This news broke uh, Sunday that the Supreme Court had ruled that the that Texas needs to step aside and let the federal government come in and remove this razor wire that they put along the shore or in the river in the Rio Grande to prevent immigrants from coming into the country. It doesn't work. But um, the Texas National Guard has been preventing Border Patrol from access to this area in Eagle Pass, Texas. And uh, a mother and two children drowned because of this razor wire. And whenever they're... Border Patrol did get through, and they cut some to let some to save lives of some immigrants. Texas got upset, said that you're you're like uh, damaging our property, and they took it to court. Uh, a court ruled against them. Then another court had to stay, and then it went to Supreme Court, and the Supreme Court ruled five four that the federal government uh, where they need to step aside. They didn't give any explanation or, or describe, but it is the, the sole responsibility of the federal government to man police control our borders, whether you like it or not, whether you think the job they're doing sucks or it's great, it is their responsibility, not the state. The state can't take it over and then prevent the federal government from going from, from access to it. Greg Abbott does not know this. He, he and the, the goon attorney general, the one they tried to impeach, Ken Paxton, the one that tried to, to sue Pennsylvania over going for Biden in the presidential election, that fucking idiot. Um, so uh, they... They were talking about their sovereignty. They're, and, and states do have sovereignty to a certain extent, but they're still a part of this country. Uh, they don't have full sovereignty. Like, a state can't declare war against another state. They can't declare war against Mexico or, or another country. Uh, they can't say where well, the federal government can't come into their state, you know, because they have sovereignty, stuff like that. Uh, they can't go off and negotiate, like, a, a, some sort of treaty with another nation. You know, they, they don't have all that stuff. All that anyway, bunch of bullshit, and this is just some vile crap anyway uh, to appeal to the hate base, and it works. That the, the hate base loves this kind of shit. Uh, creative note: I, I did use sharks with freaking laser beams on their heads last July when they first put up like those buoys, those those water barriers. Um, and I thought today, is it okay if I use it again? It, maybe it's kind of like a sequel. So, and I bounced it off two proofers, neither said anything, and my friend. A friend of mine that I sent it to, she's like, oh, I think I love it. You should just do it because uh, it'd be like a sequel. And so I was like, I got to do it. It's kind of like a sequel. Uh, yawn, pause, time. Mm. Anyway, uh, I just took a long walk through the through some parts of the town a few minutes ago. And I'm just still kind of, still a little bit sweaty from it. It's, it's like 54 degrees here now. Anyway, uh, I like it. I was wearing a hoodie. Most people are still wearing parkas. Guys, uh, shout outs to Master Screen. Master, yeah, Master Screen, uh, Alex Chavez, Berkey Perry, Didi Wiss, and Didi, 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 Robert Cortino, and the evil Mike Robert Cortino lives just south of New Hampshire. And you know, some reason in my head, I had it that you lived on the West Coast somewhere like Oregon or something. I don't know why. I don't remember why. I don't know. Anyway, uh, I think you live in a very beautiful part of the country. And I often think about moving to New England where it's just more liberal and I just get away from lunatics. But I know you have some lunatics up there. Guys, gotta go. Bye. Mm.